All right, guys, um, I thought I would do a how to learn new music video. So I've chosen a piece that I've actually never played before. It's called Romance by Brooke for the viola. Um, it's a level six in the solo, and I, honest, have never played this before. <laughs> um, so the first step is do your best to find a recording of whatever you're learning. Okay, so I've already done this. I went on YouTube. I listened to this a couple times, a couple different performances because everybody has their own little spin on things. Um, so I have a little bit of an idea of how it's supposed to go. Okay, then the next thing before I start to play is I have to check the key signature. Okay, so this piece is in the key of F. It has one flat, B flat. Um, so then I do a quick scan of my instrument to remind myself of where I can put my fingers. So in the key of F on the viola, I can put... I could do one high two three on the C string, one low two three on the G string, um, one low two three on the D string, and low ones on the A string, and there might be some shifting and stuff too, and I'll figure that out when I get there, <laughs> okay? Um, for those of you who need a finger chart, okay, um, I'll post those up on my page for you guys to check out where your fingers should go in certain keys, okay? Um, and then the very next thing is I need to know how fast to go. This actually tells me quarter note equals 69, so I have my metronome set, ready to go. And I wanna make sure that from the very beginning, I'm playing the rhythm correctly, so I'm just gonna start my metronome right away, okay? Um, if I get to a spot where I can't play the rhythm accurately um, because it's too fast, or because I can't make the shifts in time, or because I can't play in tune, that's the spot that I need to practice. So I can slow the metronome down, I can take out the rhythm for a second and just isolate those two notes, three notes, whatever it is. Um, but let's see what happens, okay? So, here we go. I'm not gonna keep that clicking for now. I'm just gonna, cause it's gonna get annoying. <laughs> but um, I'm just getting that beat in my head so I know how bad, how fast I can go. And I'm pretty good at tapping my foot while I play, so that's good enough for me. Here we go. Up, so I'm not going to do the shift for now because I want to hear this without the shifting first. going to go back and try it with all the shifting. My sixth graders who don't know what shifting is, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> ready? You're ready to go. Okay, so now I'm not in tune anymore, so I have to figure that out if I can get to that shift in time. So let me see, where did it go wrong? I go back to a spot I know I can play correctly, so I get into the difficult part. So I know I, I was fine on this A. So I'll do that again. So I'm making sure I can get to that high note on the, the G string name. You don't need to know what it is, but that was my difficulty. So now I'm gonna go on. Oh, I keep wanting to play that like quarter notes for some reason, so I gotta keep, again, I'm, I'm gonna start here. I gotta keep making sure that I'm doing that as eighth notes and I'm not doing that too slow. I have this beat going. If you see me bobbing up and down, it's because I'm tapping my foot constantly. Okay, because rhythm is the most important thing, <laughs> always. All right, so now let me see if I can get more of the notes now that I've got the rhythm right. trouble shifting back there you can't see my hand so I gotta find that high note again and it's actually a C and I have an open C string so I can check if I'm in tune using open strings that's always a nice little trick all right and then once I feel like okay I think I got that tricky part let me go back to the beginning try the whole section. Check my notes. I feel pretty good about 
about that. I literally have never played this before. Honest truth, okay? Um, but again, I listened to it a few times, so I know what it sounded like. Um, and I just had to practice that little measure going on. There's a lot more hard stuff. Um, so I might want it coming up on some spots where there's 16th notes, even 32nd notes. Um, I may have to slow down my tempo and get my metronome going, okay? Um, sometimes even I have to go so slow that I have to click the eighth note instead of the quarter note. So you would just double whatever your quarter note is to get an eighth note speed, okay? All right, guys, I hope this helps. I hope we know how to practice now and how to learn new music. If you have any questions, let me know. All right, good luck, guys.